What's the difference between situational awareness and self-awareness? And what role do they play in your personal safety? That's what's coming up in today's Tactical Tidbits. Hi friends, Herman from Alpha One here. Please subscribe, like, and share this video wherever you're watching it. All right, well today I want to talk about the concept of awareness. Most people, even if they aren't involved in self-defense or even given so much as a thought about their personal safety, can wrap their minds around the concept of situational awareness. Namely, being actively aware of your surroundings, the people and things around you at any given moment. That's pretty simple, right? It is. And yet, unfortunately, not a lot of people employ it. Think of how many people walk around the street with their heads down, looking at their phones or you know, at their headphones and their ears, oblivious about what's going on around them. Now, the internet is chock full of videos of people running into other people and other things and falling down holes and into fountains. And it would be funny if it wasn't so dangerous. For this reason, when talking about personal defense, situational awareness is crucial. As coach Tony Blauer often says, no awareness, no chance. What does that mean? Well, it means that it doesn't much matter what martial art you know or how strong you are or what weapon you're carrying if you get blindsided by an attack and you're lying dead or unconscious. Therefore, awareness has to be a part of any personal defense training. It's both a mindset and a tactic. Many self-defense instructors in schools do address this topic to some degree, but in my opinion, they're, very, they're not very comprehensive. While many schools teach concepts like Colonel Jeff Cooper's color code of awareness, as we do, and might point out several things to look out for when being out and about, there is still one crucial element that they always leave out, and that element is self-awareness. Self-awareness is internally to your mind what situational awareness is to the outside world. In other words, being aware of your attitude, your limitations, your fears, your personality traits, etc. But how does that relate to personal safety, you may ask? Well, if I'm a complete douchebag who often gets drunk and is rude to people in bars and is disrespectful to women or an egomaniac who thinks that because I carry a gun that I can go anywhere regardless of how risky and get into silly altercations, and I'm not self-aware enough to know that about myself, can I honestly say that I'm choosing safety? Of course not. Even if I subscribe to all of the best situational awareness teachings out there, the fact is that I'm probably going to find myself in trouble more often than most people due to my attitude or the city places that I like to visit often because I like lack self-control. Now, anyone who claims that they want to stay out of trouble simply cannot be believed unless they have the self-awareness to know what aspects of themselves work against that goal and are willing to change their behavior in order to be in alignment with that goal. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how awareness impacts your personal safety. If you want to learn more, come train with us and become a safer individual. Check out our class, it's our class schedule at alpha1tactical.com, and I hope to see you in class soon. Stay safe.